All right, we're back with FTK Feature Focus, but first, a couple updates. So there hasn't been a lot of posts in the last few weeks because I've been in the middle of changing positions within the company and between handing off the old gig and moving into the new one, these videos, I just didn't have time for them, but we are back now. So that was the first update. The second update is that we've updated FTK to version 7.5 and that dropped in October of 2021 or last week, depending on when you're watching this. And it has a lot of new features we'll be talking about in videos that are coming up soon, webinars, that sort of thing. So tune in if you want to check that out and figure out what we've added or better yet, update your software and get using it and find out for yourself. The third update is Xtero is doing what they're calling the Forensic Solutions Law Enforcement Grant Program, shown here. And we'll link to this in the description, but if you are in need of some forensic software and you work for a law enforcement agency that can't free up the budget to pick up some software, life can be a little hard. Xtero wants to help out with that. So what you can do is come to this website, and you can apply for the grant. The qualifications are listed here on the website in the part that says grant qualifications and what you can uh, get is listed here as well. So if you are in that situation, need forensic software, part of an agency that you can't get budget, feel free to apply here and you can be awarded some software and some training. Also, if you aren't in that situation, but you know someone or an agency in your area that is in that situation, let them know. This is super cool, I think, because, uh, you know, forensics is kind of a thing. It's probably not going anywhere. Getting the tools into more hands is always a better thing for the community, both the forensic community and just our communities helping keep everybody safe. So, uh, yeah, the law enforcement um, grant program going now link will be in the description, share it, uh, check it out. It's really cool. All right. After the intro, we'll jump into FTK feature focus. Welcome to this week's episode of FTK feature focus. I'm Justin Tolman with Xtero. And this week we're going to be talking about system summary and yes we've talked about system summary before but today specifically we're going to be talking about the addition of mac artifacts to system summary in the new version ftk 7.5 we've done a lot of work increasing the amount of mac artifacts that we parse and system summary was not left out of that so let's jump into FTK and take a look. All right, so we find ourselves in the system summary tab and we have a Mac image loaded up. So this will look very much the same as it did when we had Windows artifacts loaded up because it's the same interface. However, in this case, we have the Mac categories. I don't have a case currently queued up with both Mac and Windows side by side, but it does support both in the same interface side by side. Okay, but right here, since we're just showing off the new features of Mac, that's what I have loaded up. So in the system summary, we can see some of the categories here, Apple Keychain, generic passwords. And if we were to select those, you can see the different things here. If we were to select like Olaf trainers, we can see the user account here, Olaf trainers, airport, the password that was used to connect to this Wi-Fi access point, Olaf 2017 star. Um, and then you also have like a fawn here with the password of Titanfall. Okay, and the display name is the fawn. So we display that sort of information. We also have device interaction, Mac applications, Mac browsers. So if you have Safari on there um, or iCloud artifacts, they'll be brought out here. Okay. It'll also show in the internet tab as well, depending on what you are looking for. I recommend if you're doing only browser work, with Safari to use the internet and chat tab. It breaks it out into some more granular uh, categories. It's kind of nice. Okay, we also have our networks, our operating system info, Mac recent files, and log data. One thing to remember is that the categories that you see up here in the system summary pane up here in the top left 
is entirely dependent on what is on the system and what was and thus what was parsed. Okay, so you may have more if your system has different artifacts or you may have a little less if your system had less. So it was not going to show zero filled categories. It'll expand and contract based on what is in the image. This Mac image is a little old. Um, so we're seeing like 2017 data. Um, a newer thing will have more features listed if they exist on the machine because the parser was built using more modern versions of Mac OS. To run Mac System Summary, you don't have to do anything special. You just have to select Generate System Summary from the processing options. You can either do that pre-case or you can do it as additional analysis whenever is most convenient for you or makes sense for your case. One thing here is that the system summary populates and if we switch over to the overview tab and go to file category and system summary, you also have the information there. If you wanted to look at it there, no problem. I just want to point out that OS and file system files stay at zero. This should be considered Windows OS and file system files. Any Mac artifacts again will be parsed out in the system summary. That's where we're going to display those artifacts, whereas this will hold your Windows artifacts. So don't be thrown off if you work a Mac, come in and your OS and file system files is empty. That's by design. They'll be in system summary or the system summary tab, and you can look at all your stuff there. Of course, we show the providence or the origin of where that information came from. So of course, you still have your validation abilities um, to go look at that data manually because verification is super important and you need to validate your findings. So this is just a short little introduction to 7.5 and what we've added. We have a lot more coming. Look for more videos in this space for FTK 7.5 for all the latest features that we've added. And again, check the link in the description for the law enforcement grant program. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around.